Okay, with this video we're going to quickly discuss how to read a vernier scale. This is a vernier height gauge. I apologize, it, apologize for it not being centered, but the uh, video camera won't let me uh, center it. So, um, we're going to talk about the, video, the vernier scale. You have uh, two readings on this. This is a vernier height gauge, or two scales on this. You have a metric scale and an inch scale. We're going to concentrate on the inch scale. And on that, you have two scales. This is the main scale here. That is where you take your first readings from. This is the vernier scale, or the sliding scale. I'll show you how that slides in a minute. Um, the vernier scale is taking your second set of readings. So to take your first set of readings, uh, you do not use the vernier scale numbers, except you're going to relate to the zero point. So what I'm actually going to do, just to... Uh, keep this straight is just get rid of all of the graduations on the vernier scale except for the zero so your first set of readings on the uh, inch vernier scale let me adjust the camera here a little bit or this here is to look at the main scale which is here you can see it's broken down into inches you have inch two inches three inches and then this is broken down into uh, uh, 50 thousandths, or if you look at it, it's graduated every 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, which uh, in uh, machining and mechanical technology, you refer to this as 200 thousandths of an inch. And then that is broken down into one, two, three, four decimal places, so or four units, so 200 thousand divided by four. Each of these graduations, the finest graduation on the main scale, is 0.05 or 50 thousandths of an inch. Uh, so my method of doing this is uh, first you have to read everything off of the main scale below the zero point. Let me adjust this slightly so we're not exactly uh, lined up with the zero point. So I've adjusted this. Uh, so what we're going to take is uh, we have the inch values so below that so we would take one inch and then we're going to take the hundred thousands values and right now there's uh, four hundred thousands below that zero point so this would be 1.4 inches and then we have one of these graduations after the four but before the zero so we include that so that would be 1.45 inches or one inch four hundred and fifty thousands and then we're done with the main scale uh, we can't go any finer on the main scale, so now we switch to the vernier scale. And once we switch to the vernier scale, we ignore the numbers on the main scale. And what we look for is what's called the point of coincidence. And what that is, is you're looking for which one of these lines on the vernier scale lines up with one of these lines. Uh, I do the bracket method where I start at one end and come up until I find one that lines up. And I'm going to say that's this line right there, the 22. And then I double check by coming from the other direction and come back down. And I, I say it's either the 21 or the 22. So our first reading was uh, one inch. Then we had our 400 thousandths. And then we had a 50 thousandths mark on our main scale. And then we have 022 on our vernier scale. These ones were off of the main scale. This is the vernier. It's an N. Vernier scale. All right. Add those all together. Our reading is 1 inch, 472 thousandths. And if I take that off, 1 inch, 400, 450, plus 22, 1 inch, 450, 22, 1 inch, 472.